Alrighty, my friends. Chair stream, best stream. Okay, let's see here. Um, so we are ready to go. Supplies. So I assume every time we travel, you we use one supply. I wonder if I have to buy those anywhere. Okay, so we have this to go for next. Oh, we have one of these adventure things, huh? Sure, do it. Explore the area. Alright, so we get supplies. Chests open with this. Gain one item, but we lose health. Wow, there's a lot of stuff over here. Random item, two nodes, gold pile. Catch this to, re to gain a large sum of gold. Grants more gold, the less markers you have remaining. So the later we get to that, the better. Ooh. Oh no, it drops gold every time. Okay. Ooh, okay, we barely missed that. Small pile, small pile. All right, well, let's just go gain the gold. I don't want it to get out of range. 79 gold, all right. All right, we just got a bunch of free gold. I like free gold. Treasure goblins, that means they're a cow level. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can... Basically, I want all of my people to be in the same row with the archer guy in front, because then he will be getting... And what's also really good about this is if he goes first, that means... If he has either of those cards that triggers, uh, he will... Um, Get, you know, the, the defense and the free attacks from everything. Okay, so let's have you go... Here. Okay. Five damage, nine guard. Drain HP. I think you're the one I'd rather take out. I feel like I'm not seeing the damage always happen that that passive thing is supposed to set up. I don't know, I'm confused. This, this, you go ahead and be here. Okay. Okay. I don't have a way to move them, that sucks. But I can draw, potentially. I should trigger... Oh, no, he didn't have the card in the hand. Okay. Alright, so they're all attacking you. Um, she actually should be able to kill him with that 26 vulnerable. I need to do 2 damage and he's just dead. Okay. So did I get my AoE? I did not get my AoE. Let's see if we draw it, though. I did not. Okay. Forty-four damage. And you're dead. Okay. I could give them channel with this. And you know what? Since she's full, I will give channel, because why not? I don't know if we're getting lucky that we always go first every time, or what? All right, we have both of these. That's perfect. Perfect. 
But, uh... We just always kill them before they get to do anything, it seems. Alright, so if I should be able to, like, just lure you into traps and kill you. Fifty-five vulnerable this guy has. Oh my god. Alright. There's probably a better way to do that. It's fine. Yeah, 66 damage. I think we got him. Alright, let's uh, again use our cards. Because if we use cards, we gain stuff. There we go. Oh my god. Just stack vulnerable. Okay, so now we need to go find Barnaby's tools. Do it. Bandits raid the shop. Leave nothing but shattered display cases. Doors of the cellar remains open. Strong sense of the dead. Okay. Okay. A deadly encounter. Area grants HP on 8 HP on clear, contains crates. Let's go. This is the deadly encounter, a single dude? Okay. There. Um, do you want to shift him there? Yeah, I'm going to probably move that guy that direction. So, what is he doing? A spear throw. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if there's multiple phases, because so far this is not looking very uh, too scary. If I put Caltrops there, if I move him to any of those, if I do Bola Shot, any of those places will cause him to take damage, right? Okay. <clears throat> Still attacking that, okay. Alright, I would like to get, what do these things do? They give me something. I get a heal of eight after this fight, so I don't necessarily have to kill him this turn. <clears throat> so I'm going to allow her to take this damage. Just wait till he goes over 9,000. What? Over 9,000? That should give me that. Okay. So we got the supply crate, so hopefully that's worth. <coughs> Goodness. That was a lot of experience. Modify shrines. Okay. All right, so we got the heal. Beautiful. I just got some boots. Forward initiative. He always goes first. Um, what's their initiative? 18, 16, 13. I think I still want him to go first. Do I want, which one? Who do I want to go first? Give him the boots and see how it feels with him having the higher initiative, if I like that better or not. I haven't used this yet. Who do I want to give a skill point to? 
He's behind them in levels. Probably her. So I can unlock a tier one talent. Um, is there a way to look at their talent tree? Because this guy... Oh, I can swap this at any time? Oh, that's cool. I wonder if the talent trees are the same for everybody. I don't know. Let's go ahead and use this on her. Uh, how do I read it? Use now. There we go. I think everyone has access to the same talents restricted by stats. Okay, yeah, this does look the same. So I think there was something on this tree that I thought looked good. Um, item cards plus one rank plus amulets, rings, and belts. Um, let's see. More SP. That was the one I was looking at. Two channel charges. Okay, let's give her more SP. And then I can use her SP abilities more aggressively now, I think. Let's try that. You can swap them whenever you want. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Rerolls all socket types and colors on an item. Interesting. Sidestep. Shift one, gain four guard. Okay. And that's a move skill. Wasn't there something with his move skills that could be zero cost? Maybe that's something I was considering buying. Oh, agility. Yeah, when he gets agility, move skills cost free. Will be free, except they'll cost an agility. Um, hmm. Not sure. Man, there's there are so many choices in this game. This is crazy. It's definitely overwhelming. Dimly lit chamber used to be Barney's workroom. Undead have scared off the Thieves, a variety of soft lined boxes, a collection of chisels, loops, and molds lie on the workbench. Okay. Attempt a perception check. Well, she's, she's, uh, we only need to roll a three or higher. Please. Okay, good. She's getting all the experiences. I do all, since we're getting all these int checks here. Initiative, okay. And was that it? Wow, that was a plus five initiative ring. We're gonna guarantee this guy goes first, I guess. Okay. Well, that was quick and easy. Apparently the library was a tough one. All right. Um, let's go turn this in, then we'll decide if we go up and do these other things. It's nice that it doesn't lock you in. Yeah, it, it is nice that you have flexibility in how you can build your character based on what you find, I guess. Rare crystals. Rare crafting material. Man, I wonder what crafting you can do in the game. Splendid work. I'll be able to suck at any piece of equipment for you if you can find the right crafting materials. <sighs> Pressing issues out of the way. Let's begin our counterattack. Men will push out of our safe zone. Need your help with a key location. City supply warehouse been overtaken. If we had it, we'd better equipped. All we need is the materials. Okay. All right. So what can we do now? Socket. Socket. 
Roll a socket. So it costs 20 gold. Okay. It requires these parts to do socket things. Um, is it all the same depending on the item or is it different on the item? Looks like it's all the same. Wow, this is crazy. Okay. Oh. All right, I've received news of a sizable undead horde roaming the streets. Looking for a team to take them down. Would you help? Yeah, of course. I don't need to rest. I got no, uh, whatever those never negative things are. One stealth on use. Potent modifier. Potent. Apply status on skills. Ignore guard. Purity. Remove a random debuff when played. Ice shard. This got three sockets on this thing. Ice shard. Deal 10 damage. Apply chill. What does chill do? On turn, start. Trigger store damage. Deal 20% less damage. What? What does that mean? Does that mean it does 10 damage and then when their turn starts it does another 10? What does deal 20% less damage mean? I swear some of the description of these things are just really confusing. Force armor. Gain 3 armor. Expend. Is expend... Supposed to expend pile. Okay. Whew. Okay. Uh, Alright. Let's go out. And holy crap. There's her quest. The bandit threat. That's level 5. That's level 6. Let's go here and then around, I guess. Wow, they... There's just so much stuff on these, uh... On this map. It's crazy. Let's go this one first. We hear raucous cheering and cling of swords. Bandits must be celebrating their spoils. Okay, that's the exit. Let's go here first. Level six. You're reading that as the enemy does percent less damage. You could be wrong. Okay. So you're reading it as if the enemy is chilled, they do 20% less damage. Maybe, maybe that's right. Okay. So he's first. Am I cool with that? Trap one cell applies one pull and 18 vulnerable. So if I do this... I don't understand that card I just cast. Pull shifts the target towards you. Is this self-triggering or not? Pull. How is that different than lure? Shift is different than pull. Okay. So I put a target, I put a I put a trap on a cell. If there's an enemy on that cell, it pulls them. But does it actually apply the vulnerable? So it didn't look like it triggered the vulnerable on him. I don't think. I believe I'm gonna be able to have these guys swap places and they'll both get triggered by those two traps so that was like a double trigger so he's attacking you're attacking you're all attacking okay so we go there i think it's better for me to have this guy go first because yeah if he was already in that spot he would have gotten these attacks of opportunity and field awareness if we did attacks there Uh, does she have her AoE? She does, so she'll kill that guy. I don't have to do anything else to him. All right. Fifty-three vulnerable. Okay, her AoE is gonna kill that guy too. <laughs> Golly. Okay. I, oh, 
Oh, they actually went before me for once. Okay. But, okay. I didn't notice that she actually went after them. 60 damage to that guy. Okay. That's just gonna kill him. Uh, used up all her stuff, but that's fine. Hopefully she'll be building it quicker now with that skill we gave her. Okay. Just the journal. Hero quest. Main quest. Oh, I'm doing the... I'm doing this main quest that's level 8. Okay, no wonder these guys seem higher level. Okay. So I wonder how we unlock the next tier. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Boost a card's base values. Or gain another skill. What is her... I really like her AoE ability. Although, I kind of like it because it triggers all the vulnerable I'm doing. Um... So I don't know that I need to boost the card's base values. Let's do this and see what options we have. If I do that... It doesn't even give extra channels. It's guard and critical. Okay. This is her best base damage, so that would give two extra damage. To give two extra damage on everything. Two channel... Two inspiration. Let's do this. Even though I'm not really using the channel, there's a chance we can use it. I mean, two extra base damage on AoE is pretty nice, but... Hmm. Where's my draw card? Apparently I can't boost my draw card, huh? That one upgrade requires level 8. Go ahead and do the two channel and two inspiration. Let's go ahead and do that. Mastery choices. Wow, there's so much stuff you could do. AP cost reduced. Retain remains in hand. Can be discarded during your turn. Okay. Let's go for upgrading that buff spell. Three more. Spend three more skills, skill points to unlock my next skill grid. Ah. Oh, wait, cancel that. Whoa. Tempo 2. Glamour 2. Um, metal 2. So I can choose where this goes. Interesting. Remove a skill from your deck. Reduce minimum deck size by 1. That seems useful. If I go like this, I'll be able to go directly to Glamour 2, reduce minimum size deck, and our talent skill. This is permanent. Okay, wow. You even build your own talent tree. What a complicated game. Okay. All right, I actually want this guy to go first. So let me change out this. Uh, this. I want you to take off the initiative boots. Swap them with these. There. And you put on the initiative boots. Initiative 22. Initiative 21. 13. Honestly, she's so slow, I might want to give her the initiative boots. Yeah, initiative 17, 21, 22. Okay, so hopefully that means he will always go first. I don't know if it's still random. If you still roll initiative of 22, just guarantees I always go right before 21. I don't know. Okay. It's been seeming pretty consistent that whoever has a higher initiative just always goes first. Random currency item. Okay.
Okay. Uh, so close. Oh, I should not have done that. Well, it reveals that. I just took two damage for no reason. Oh, well, it's fine. This is empty. Is it really empty? Looks like it's empty. Okay. Party, party side of the field is trapped here. Okay. <clears throat> Man, how do they come up with so many different things you can do in the game? That's crazy to me. Ah, okay. He actually did go first, even though this guy has higher initiative. Okay. So he has attack of opportunity. I wonder... When an ally in the row attacks, follow up. Does this happen even if the guy... Let, let me let me let me test this. Move here. If I attack, is he gonna get an attack of opportunity because he has that in his inventory? He did not. Okay. So he has to have. Ah, that's crazy. That's really weird. I really need him to go first. Oh wow, he's actually going third. That's the worst it could have been. Okay. Apply vulnerable. Um, she's going next. Seven to all. So we are guaranteed to draw that turn one every time. Okay, that's good. So seven. If I apply six vulnerable. <coughs> Excuse me. Seven plus six thirteen. Seven plus nine is. 16. I won't be able to quite do all the damage we need there. Although I can apply double vulnerable. So now he's got 15 vulnerable. So now I only need to do 10 damage to him and he dies. Okay, I can maybe have him finish that guy off. Yeah, I think so. Hooray, your PC is running again. Hooray, and you do have to say having a matching set of 1080s looks amazing. Wow. Wow, okay. Light and feeble. Okay, that's fine. I don't care about you doing your damage thing there. Can inspire, I don't think I need to. I don't give channel. Not really needed right now. Okay. Um Yeah, him going last is actually really bad. But we have enough guard that it should be fine. Nice. Now we're enfeebled, but that's okay. It means we just do a little damage, but they're so low, we should be fine. Oh, something else spawned. Oh no, it didn't. Okay. All right. All right. So I think the way we do this, we go call drops here. If I do tripwire, that will pull him into the call drops. It didn't pull him. Well, how does pull work? I am so confused, man. I'm so confused. Why is it not pulling like it's supposed to pull? Now you're attacking, you're attacking. Eight. 
eight, six. So if I do this, you will attack yourself. Yeah, you're attacking yourself. You're attacking her. Should be able to kill her. I'll kill that, but let's just defend just in case. And I'm gonna hold off on using that because we're about to kill them all anyway. Okay. No traps, eh? Which trap is which? 19 damage. Okay. There. Beautiful. Far shot kills you. Okay. Dual 1080s, Vega. Man, I wonder what you had to pay to, make, to get that. Hopefully the price has gone down some. Okay. Uh, okay, another floor. That's where I need to go. Okay. Alright, that's the exit. This is boss fight. Let me... Give this guy the plus five initiative. I just, I need to guarantee he goes first. So, let's get rid of, yeah, one of these guys. Give you this guy. Okay. Oh, I can equip these potions on them. Oh, that's what I need to do. Uh, recover AP, that lets her do an extra ability. Oh, oh, it's there, okay. So, healing that. Gain two avert, okay. I, I didn't realize I could actually equip those things, okay. No weapon on that guy. Uh, you paid 370 for the two of them. Wow, that sounds pretty cheap. What you didn't consider is that you had to mount the radiators. Okay. I don't know what that means, but okay. 151 health. Holy shnikes. Okay, well, we're definitely going to the bottom row and hiding there. I could put a trap up in these rows first, though. I always forget the range on that. Okay, so I can't actually move that. Although it did, okay, it applied the vulnerable, so I can't move supplies. Apparently they're rooted or whatever. Okay, now that you're in the front, every time these guys do attacks, you should get attack of opportunity and defense. Well, you will get attack of opportunity because we have that. Let's hope this works correctly now. Okay. Non-boss unit, you're a boss unit, so that's not going to work on you. Are you attacking? You are attacking, and you are attacking. So if I do this, you should attack yourself. I think. Let's do this, because that should have triggered an attack of opportunity on you. Uh, or unless I just kill him before you can even attack. Okay, beautiful. It's a hybrid cooled card, meaning it is air and water cooled. Ah, okay. okay no target on him. Lure, I don't have the range. Bola, we don't have the range either. So basically, I'm just going to trap up this entire area, I guess, is what I'm going to do. 
So I'm just stacking vulnerable on these things. Okay, so those can't move. All right. Let them come to us. Are they ever going to move? Or Okay, there they go. <laughs> All right. Seventeen damage. You want to take that? Oh, they're just moving to places where they can't do anything to us. Okay, so I'm kind of cool with that. So let's just trap this. Do some damage to you. Get Perry up. Okay, we're just gonna trap it up and let him walk towards us. Scatter hit. Get rid of all but that one guy. I'll go ahead and kill you off. Not too worried. You'll probably die from traps anyway. It's kind of. I'm basically kiting these guys, making them come through traps while she hits them at range. Okay. There's no safe place to run, my friend. Okay. You gotta come through my traps. Where are you gonna go? Nowhere. <laughs> He's just gonna let me kill him from ranged. Alright, get wrecked. Can I double up traps on him? Or maybe that's, that swaps the trap. Okay, that's actually not as good. Fine. Okay. Um, I don't really want to shift. So I'm just not even going to do that. Okay. You're attacking 17 damage. Okay. So, oh wait, no, that won't work on a boss unit. So, I'm not even drawing my freaking attacks here. No attacks. All right, well, I'll just put vulnerable on you. We'll use that for the vulnerable, and that's it. This, so apparently the AI is programmed to not walk over traps, so <laughs> they won't. Uh, they're just going to stay in there forever. Um, so that's fine. If y'all want to stay there while I shoot you, I'm cool with that. Oh, traps wear off, apparently. Okay, there we go. Now he's in range. Okay. And wow, I drew no way to actually move him through a trap. Okay, it's fine. Still, he has no range, so we do this. Oh, crap! I just walked right into that, thinking I could shift back out of it. Okay, well, at least I got that. Got dodge. These all apply root and vulnerable. Okay. Okay, this could be bad. I need to kill these guys off now. I think I should be able to finish him now. 31. That finish him? That finishes him nice. Okay. Got him. Alright. Alright, apparently she is... My bard is my magic damage ranged mage caster thing. Precise swing. Deal 11 damage. Accurate. What is accurate? Every point of damage will remove two guard instead of one. Interesting. She's OP. 
Right. My OP bard, man. She's just... They're, they're trapping. She's, she's kiting. All right. Unlock his skill node, and he is dex. So what is this? Dex higher intelligence, half, half your dex to your intelligence modifier. Okay, what do we got? Uh, medium armor, dex 30 base. Gain one max card draw, I like that. Once per turn, you can use your default move to move one cell at no cost. It's two initiative plus one max agility charges. I don't have any bow, crossbow, or quivers equipped. Critical. Uh, start turn gain critical equal to your dex modifier. I'm not really doing critical. Guard equal to your dex modifier. Dex initiative. I think... I think I like just the card draw, because he's got all those passive things. I think the card draw is good, since he's going to be retaining two field awarenesses and an attack of opportunity. We want to draw through his deck quicker, I think. Oh, I can edit his deck, too. Um, what do I not want? These are all added by items. I'm never getting channel. I feel like I'm gonna getting be getting a lot of passive guard. So I'm gonna remove those two. I kind of want to put the void thing in this guy, so I don't. Well, I mean, that's better than the dodge, actually. Only problem is I have to move him. Bardic OP, just like in Lost Ark. How is the Bard OP in Lost Ark? I played. I barely played that game. Was not a big fan of it. Okay, I can't edit his. Uh, what do you got here? Um, learn a skill or gain max HP, or work towards a uh, skill rank. Uh, a card value. Let's go for a skill, I guess. Continue with the sabotage. Clone trap. Every time you plant a trap, add another trap card of the same type into your discard pile. Wow, okay. Two blinds to two targets. Blind. When blinded, damage dealt is half as effective against guard. Twin Chakram. Hit all targets in adjacent lanes two times. Six damage, two bleed. All targets in adjacent lane. Wow, that seems really good. So we just, this just, every time I throw a trap, I get more traps in my deck. Uh, currently, my traps are call traps for this guy and the tripwire. I think I actually take this. Because if I could put call drops everywhere, that's just going to do so much damage. Go go all in with all that. Go all in with the traps. And then now I should be able to remove a deflect from him. Whoops. There. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. This. Free monies. Attached skill grants three critical on use. I'm not sure what critical does. What does critical do? I'm not sure what that stat does yet. Okay, what do we got here? Come across a marble fountain, clear water flows, inviting you to quench your thirst. 50-50, good or bad. Lose supplies. Add a random modifier to a nearby node, add a random challenge modifier. I, I've already finished all my nodes, so I could just take a 50-50. 
Let's go 50-50. Gain three supplies. Nice. Okay. Okay. So let's go do... Let's go do this quest over here. All right, what do we got? Removes exhaustion, restore health, a rune, a weapon, gold, random curse. Chest will open with this, have an additional augmented item. Okay. All right, throwing dagger. Chance to gain agility. Interesting. All right, lesser judgment rune. Non-white cards on this item are converted to intelligence skills. Okay. I wonder... I'll lose 10 HP, but I'll also gain 30 HP. Let's see what order those happen. I lose the HP. And then I gain the HP. Ha <laughs> ha! And then it revealed this node that there's no way for me to get away. Get to. Okay. That was basically a free heal. It's fine. Okay. Making your way through a dingy back street, your progress is suddenly halted by an attempted ambush. Three ruffians lying in wait, uh, fling their nets, hope, no, hoping to snag some easy prey. Dex check. Uh oh. oh I have to do this one at a time. Um, failure, comp by surprise. They lose initiative. I'm not going to get exhaustion for this, so. You fail. You fail. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going last. All right, come on. What's your name? What is this guy's name? Uh, Bertram. Surely you can do it. Wow. We rolled a two, a three, and a six. I needed my pie save, that's right. Hey, what's up, Plunder Pig? Hatless stream, boo. I had my hat stream the other day. You missed it. You missed it. Oh, man, what are we taking here? Oh, he still goes first, even with that lost initiative. That's actually pretty crazy. Uh, okay. Five damage. Vulnerable. Well, okay. Well, those guys are just targeting things that don't even matter, so that's fine. Go here. Um... Uh, gain critical. Your next hit deals X more damage. Ah, that's what it is. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go this. We now have crit. Don't need that since I have no channel. Twenty-three damage. Let's go and get you. Uh, let's just go against you. And then we shift back down there. Ah, uh, they're placing traps. That's what they're doing. Okay. Seven to all. So I can make you attack yourself. You're laying a trap. Yeah, let's make you attack yourself. So do this. Stop punching yourself! You punch yourself, sir. So if I attack, you should do... Do you have your attack of opportunity? No, you don't, so you won't do your thing. Okay. All right, 
do I have? Okay, clone trap. That's good. Staying away from Twitch, Twitch to concentrate on more on life. That's a good thing to do. If I didn't, you know, work on Twitch, I'd probably do that too. <laughs> right, she get her AOE. She has her AOE. Good. So her AOE will kill him. We just want to pull these guys into traps. Oh wait, that's the good trap right there. Okay. Uh... There. That'll kill him. Her AoE would have killed him anyway, but it's fine. I feel like I have too many defensive cards on this guy now. Alright. Wait, I thought that was my AoE. Ah, it's fine. You're dead anyway. You're dead. You're all dead. You activated my trap bard. <laughs> That's what I did. All right, note on the map has been modified. What is that? It is now purple. I don't know what that means. Party blessed with three vigil. Okay. Catherine, a cleric of the order, scattered a sizable undead horde. Organizing a party to put an end to it. Let's do it. Oh. A trap bard. This game is LGBTQ friendly. Uh, okay. Yes, totally. I don't know what how that applies to Trap Bard, but I totally agree. From dust to come, to dust they shall return. We really need the channel point redemptions. Do we? Because your cookies do not apply to channel points, Vega. You're, they're two different things, sad to tell you. All right, he is going to summon a zombie. If I added channel points, they wouldn't actually apply to the cookies you, you, you have. Uh, okay, all right. That's fine. Let's see. Man, didn't draw any traps. Can I have a trap? Oh, there's a tripwire. Okay. Best. Oh, it finally pulled him. Okay. Finally pulled him. All right. Uh, let's see here. Do you have your attack of opportunity thing on you? You have field awareness, so you get defense, but you don't need that because he's just summoning dudes. Okay. I think I just kill him right now, actually. So if I do this... Oh yeah, he's 100% dead. Uh, although I don't have the buff... You know what, I kind of want to just let you summon. Maybe I can actually even get more damage. Uh, more experience if you summon a dude that I can kill. What is she? Is she like a paladin or something? Deal 37 damage. Wow, close range. Okay, so she's not actually going to hit that. I could have killed him, I chose not to. You you are living at my suffrage right now. <laughs> okay. He's going to gain invulnerable. Well, let's kill him so he doesn't do that. Oh, <laughs> it just kills his... Other guys, anyway. Okay. Well, GG, get wrecked. Okay. Two spell oh. attack damage. Bot Child of Light, thank you! The undead threat remains at large. 
We'll be facing a much bigger threat soon. If you have need of a cleric, you can count on me. Hey, nice. Maybe... Man, I have this trap build. But, um... Does she actually have channeling abilities? So she's a healer. Enforcer. Channeled spell. There's the first, or only the second channeled spell I've seen so far. Reverend. Gain channel. Channeled spell. Like right here, I could get some crazy stack channeling and just make her be able to do free attacks, it seems. This also has channel, 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 chain forward. Beats on adjacent target. Reveal one temp card. Common heal card. Last until discarded. Two channel, channel. This is a very tanky thing with channeled stuff. I'm gonna go with this. I might use this, this reverend at some point. I'll go with that. Okay. All right, uh, I have 400 gold. Let's go back to town. All right, what do we got? We got our renown and gold for it. Ah, uh, renown. Hmm. Double down our efforts to secure the city walls. Mine went to head over to Winds. Her research might have turned up something. Um, what's the thing I was just thinking of? I have 39 renown. There was a thing I did earlier. What was that thing that I did? It's a thing where I could spend my renown. Where was that? Hmm. Where was that? Was it in here somewhere? Uh, skill grid? Ah, uh, how did I spend my renown earlier? Was it somewhere I went to? Not there. Oh, there was a way that I was able to spend my renown earlier. Guild hall? Here's where I can swap out my people if I want to try her. I'm like, ah, here it is. Spend renown. Okay. Now I can get a new slot and unlock an artifact. Currently, rolling 20 on the dice grants a fate. All heroes have plus one strength. Oh, nice. That will, that's actually quite good. My guy who can, who doesn't have a weapon, uh, will only need one more strength to be able to use this. So maybe I actually give him strength. Well, maybe I can see if there are any items that give one, plus one strength at the blacksmith. One dex. One dex for experience gain. Uh, this still requires 11 strength to use. That's really good. What does this give? Mana charge. Oh, that's the same. Oh, no, that's what she's wearing. He doesn't have a helm. He does. This guy is is my int stacking dude. Still not bad to get some some decks. I feel like buy that. Give it to him. Okay. Probably should get him a weapon too. Um, most of his attacks do are traps though. He's got. One melee, a dexterity melee item. And nothing I have he can equip. Oh, I have this. Okay. 
Grants throwing dagger plus one range attack damage. Uh, he doesn't have any range attack. Do I even want that? 30% chance to gain agility. If we're doing like an agility build, yes. Ooh, I have an intelligence thing here. Although, this guy's also intelligence. Could apply more vulnerable. Now nah, let's just go her. She's the one I'm really stacking stats on. I got these. If I was 12 strength, I don't have anybody that has a strength for that, do I? Actually, she's the only one. Um, I... 7% <laughs> increased strength. I don't even think I want her to have that because I don't want her to ever draw a precise swing. I, get the, I could put a void thing on that. Okay. I'm going to buy this sword just so that this guy has a weapon. And it requires 10 strength. Yeah, but this guy can at least have a weapon. He's got a couple melee attacks, right? Actually, no, he doesn't. He has only ranged attacks. You don't have any spell attacks, do you? I don't think so. But just so that's not empty. Ugh, there's so many... The weapons are so strange. Oh, here we go. Melee attack damage. He can equip that, right? 14 dexterity, yes. He can use that. Good. Here we go. That should make these two attacks do two more damage. Okay. Anything about here? These things, dexterity gloves. Eh. He's got no gloves equipped, so that's better than no gloves, I guess. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. Investigation of Rift Lord's encounter has turned up nothing. I do have another task. Some of my apprentices in the field have reported the ancient Venai shrines have awakened. Time is too coincidental. I suspect they could have a link to the undead invasion. Check the one in town. Okay. Strange incense. Alright, so what am I supposed to do here? Ah, uh, should I check this guy? Board of initiative. Necklace. Hmm. It's actually not bad for him. I'll buy that. And then I want to check if there's a void. Where's the... Uh, she's the one who sells the void things, right? Yeah. I'm going to buy another one of these guys. Magic missile. Wow. 345 gold for that guy. Mirror rune. I'm going to buy that because I feel like I'm going to want that for some things. Channel charge. Well, if I use that channel girl, I might want that. Okay, let's see what we're doing next. And what is this? Journal. Main quest. Investigate the shrine. Recommended level 9. I am level 5. Okay. It right, looks like I need to go do other stuff before I do the main quest. Which one is the main quest? That guy's level 9. Okay. Seems like I'm supposed to be going around exploring more rather than just going right to this. Level 6. Level 6. Let's go... Let's go around and do some fights and stuff before heading to there. So like this way, this way, then that way. Let's do that. Party is blessed with three vigil. Whatever that means.
There is so much like randomness and variety in this game that there's a lot of stuff you can do, but holy shnikes is it kind of overwhelming. There's all the stuff you can do. Now, what do I not want? I don't want all these guys. Let's go with that, I guess. Okay. So this guy is going to frenzy that guy. He's going to attack. He's going to attack. There. So 14 vulnerable on you. going to attack me. Gonna put our guard up. Randomness, yes. Makes for a steep learning curve, a good replayability probably. I'm hoping. That's that's actually what I'm hoping. So if we move you here, we should be able to go this. That speed down okay did he just get extra a guard from him doing that attack I think he should have okay and let's move her here Because you're doing six, you're doing f okay. So you're you're plenty defended, so we're good. Do that. Ah, here we go. Now I can finish somebody off if I want, which I do want. Since we're not taking any damage, let's just get you really low. Oh, one off lethal. Okay. Oh, he frenzies him first though. Uh oh. Okay, still only did six damage. Okay. Right, I want her to get as much experience as possible, so I want her as much uh, the purple stuff as possible. So I'm gonna hopefully let her be the one who gets the kill. There, vulnerable like crazy. I never get channel on you. I really, her, she's she's my damage dealer. I feel like the channel thing on her is just not. Not happening, man. Uh, what cards does she have? Does she have AoE? She can make them attack themselves, and so I need to kill one guy. He needs to kill that one. She can do her course of confusion on one of these guys to kill themselves, and then that on the other one. Okay. So. Okay, that didn't kill him like I thought it would. I should have used lure. I keep forgetting that bullet shot is a random... It goes to a random location. Okay, he's going to summon. That's fine. So... So you kill yourself, kill yourself, kill him, very nice, that gave her that, alright, very nice. Uh, I'm not sure if I saw, but you can edit your deck to pull cards you aren't using, thin your deck down for optimizing your builds, yes. And I've done a little bit of that, uh, the only problem with that is that it, um, uh, you can't go below, what is it, 12? You can't go below 12 or whatever. 
12 whatever it is uh, cards is the minimum you can have. Alright, does she have attacks? She does, okay, so I'm gonna let her... This is why I never get her uh, stuff up, because I just... Just have her kill everything. <laughs> she just kills everything. She's a bard, but she, I'm playing her more like a mage or something. Can't go up the minimum, and are forced to keep the cards granted by equipped items. Yeah. Caustic Arrow. Next Prime Shaw applies 10 poison, deals 4 damage to target, already has poison. Well, that's cool. I actually do have abilities with him that have Prime Shot on them. I'm not really going with that build. Alright, what is this? That's level 1. Okay, I'm gonna go here and then down and around. Just do a bunch of fights in a row here. I feel like I'm not completely synergistic, but we're playing on a low enough difficulty that even though I'm not, I don't have a fully synergistic combo, I'm, the the trap stuff is strong enough that it's doing doing the work. Why did that not do 10 damage? I feel like I feel like half the time I don't understand why some of these things don't do what I think they're supposed to do. Okay. Oh, okay, get blasted. Basically, the way I'm playing this is I have traps just applying vulnerable, and then she just AoEs everybody. Which is fun, but I don't uh, know that it's actually the best uh, synergy between the, the builds here. Let's go ahead and give him the channel this time, see if that will do anything. So this puts something on top of my deck, right? So I think I can do that. That was not what I thought you were doing. I thought he was hitting the row. He was doing nothing. I thought he was hitting nothing. Well, took damage. Misplay by me. Yeah, two targets and two cells. Damn. Okay. He does have attack of opportunity, so if I attack with her... Well, he's dead anyway. So, let's move up here. Get rid of that. Barry. Okay. If I do shift here, and I attack... with this... Let me read Attack of Opportunity. When an ally in the row attacks, follow up and deal 11 damage. Does that mean if I use her ranged attack on this guy, will he, fo will he follow up and hit the guy in his row? No, he won't. Okay. No, she can, she's just blasting everything anyway. Some of these synergies aren't working like I was hoping they would. <laughs> like, I have these two things that are supposed to get him defense and attacking when I'm attacking in his row, and they're just not procking. There's a faint line connecting the cell that triggers attack of opportunity. Okay, I need to figure out what that line is. Rift Lord is close by. Blood curling human scream pierces the air. Um, head in the opposite direction. No, head towards the sound of the cry not doing agility check 
On the ground, you see a grievously wounded soldier bleeding from multiple cuts. It went away. Went that way. Attempted knowledge check. Agility a check. Agility check. Um, looks like agilities are slightly better chance here with Bertram. Oh wait, he's got plus five. Okay, well, we need to roll an eight or higher. Yes, nice. Bond's gaze experience. Uh, see to get to the high ground sees you. Clamber up near steps, stairs, hoping to catch sight of the Rift Lord. You spot his almost ethereal form drifting from rooftop to rooftop, heading towards the northeastern walls. Leaps over the walls. Okay, nodes have been modified. Okay, we're heading towards those two at least. It will connect to the cell above and below the character with that card. I need to figure out how these things work, so. The problem is I'm setting up so much vulnerable, I never need multiple attacks on anything, so. Like the follow-up attacks never seem to be needed. Ice shard. Wow, why is she way up there? Reality warp. I guess she got moved by that. Okay. You're gonna spear throw, okay. I'm too OP to learn the game. Seems to be working well. Why fix what ain't broken? Well, I always wanted to... It wouldn't hurt to make it even better. Okay. Okay, so he's got attack of opportunity. So, let me try something. I'm going to shift her here. I'm going to attack here. This is an attack. He has attack of opportunity on. When an ally in the row attacks, am I... Okay, do I have row and column mixed up? Is this the guy that's in the row? So if I had actually attacked with her there. Row is above and below. You know, this is a very basic thing that would have been nice if they told me. <laughs> okay, well now I understand why it hasn't been working. I've been assuming I want them all to be in, in a line. They call it lane and row. That is really not helpful, but okay. Uh... You are attacking, you are attacking. I would like you to attack yourself, so. Well, that would have been good knowledge yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna have you attack. Are you a boss? Does this purple he mean he's a boss or not? Anybody know? It was in the first five minutes. I guess so. What do these symbols mean? What does the purple symbol mean? Does it mean he's a boss or not? Yeah, I see the thin white lines. I see that. I understand that now. Now I'm moving on to the next thing I don't understand. Is this freaking guy a boss or not? How do I know if it's a boss? Christ almighty game. There's 8,000 mechanics. How do, I know, how do I know if an enemy is a goddamn boss? <sighs> this help mode is not helpful at all. I've tried to use it like three times. I've not been able to find what I need three times. Like, I don't, is there even a place in here that tells me row and lane?
Rowan Lane. There it is. Okay. Rowan Lane. Uh, those are resistances that I didn't know was a thing. Here's a bunch of symbols. None of them show what boss is, though. I don't know how to see if this guy's a boss or not. It's kind of a big deal because if he's if he's a boss, he's not gonna attack himself. He must be a boss because he's still not he's still attacking me. Damn it. I can't right click the enemy. Oh, well I can click on him and it shows me what he's doing. Cultist Mage. There's nothing that tells me what this little purple symbol on the side means, unless I'm missing it. I see nothing here that tells me if he's a boss or not. So, I am now taking a shit ton of damage because the game is not giving me enough in information. Lovely. Alright, uh... I don't have an attack that I can use that will trigger his attack. Okay, well, I kill him at least. He's gonna attack her. If I do this, will he now attack him? Yes, and I can deflect, at least block some of it. Can I actually shift here and him hit nobody? Nope, now he hits her again. Frickin' hell. Uh, right click the no, 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 nothing. Right clicking enemy didn't do anything. So it looks like this whole row trigger attack thing is just not gonna work well because it doesn't do what I thought it did. Attacking, he's gonna put traps down. Uh, this is, I think, to go on the top of the thing. Okay, and I can kill you now if I want. It spends all my stuff though, and I don't want to spend all my stuff. I gotta shift you here to be able to do this. To there. Okay. Help section of the game needs some help. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I, sh I should not have chosen Bard as my first character. That's my own damn fault, I guess. All right, so here we go. Glamour 2. What does this do? New card to gain. Gain to inspiration. Uh, Course of Confusion. This is a really good card. I don't know if I want a second one or not. Here's that Jack of All Trades I didn't take last time, which I kind of do want because it gives me all three of the Metal Tempo and Glamour. Burst of Enchantment. Gain 14 guard, gain 1 inspiration. If I have the whatever it's called, Glamour, target non-boss unit will move towards the back corner cell for the next two turns. Okay, so it's like a mez. It like takes a guy out of the fight. As long as he's a non-boss, which there's no effing way to tell if he's a boss, or at least no way that I can figure out. Um, I'm gonna do the Jack of All Trades. That looks really good. Okay, and you, sir. We're heading here. 
about your stats. Did I want to give you 10 strength for some reason? No, it's this guy I want to get 11 strength on. Deck of all trades, boost your bardic expertise buff. Yeah, that's that's why I took it. Let's go intelligence. I think that's specializing is what I want to do. Alright. So sabotage. What do we got here? Assassin two. Sabotage two. Setter refuge two. Okay, looks like I need to go this direction. Yeah, this direction. Verse of Enchantment might combo well with traps, like a place traps along the path to the bottom left corner. Yeah, that would have been a cool idea too. I liked both of those cards, honestly. Uh, this should allow me to, yes, I can remove now. So that gave me Jack of all trades. Let's remove a deflect. Yeah, let's remove a deflect. Okay. This guy and this guy. Oh, I can. So many cards I could remove on this guy. Um. Heard of all your dodges. Can't get. It's because he has so many of these cards added by items. I think I want to put a void in the... Where's the attack thing? Yeah, row. God, if this was column, this would be amazing. The fact that this is row and not column... Which means I have to have all of my people on the front, on the front, which I don't like. But let's try playing around it, see if I can actually make it work before I just get rid of all those things. Um, I don't think do I want. Well, I kind of do want the sidestep because I can move him into where he's gonna get be getting hit. I think. Uh, let's see here. Charge trap. Just never activates because I'm never giving channel. So I'm going to get rid of this until I somehow am getting more uh, channel blo uh, uh, built up. Okay. All right, what do we got? Supplies. Consumable. Reveals nodes. Contains a rune. I don't know that I care about supplies that much. But I guess we can do that. This... Jewelry and a rune. Okay, let's just get each of these guys. Mirror rune, okay. I think what's hard for me in this game is that I'm trying to build around cards that are already in my deck, but it seems like you're supposed to build around cards on items. Seems to be a major part of this game. Initiative and Chaos Resist. Give him that. Uh, that's just an upgrade. She's got intelligence and lightning resist. Do I want her to be faster or her attacks still do more damage? Let's keep that. Let's go there, 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 there. I'm trying to level up here. Uh, I come across a messy storeroom filled with alchemical apparatus. Uh, perception check. It's definitely her. I need a nine or higher. Oof, okay. She gained experience. And... Potions. A single potion removes exhaustion? Okay. Not bad.
All right, what do we got here? Random item, gold pile. So this is better if I let this run. But I think I can just grab all three of these. Uh, let's go like that. Wow, that can move really far. Okay, well, I'm not probably getting that then. Do I ever catch it over there? Because this just reveals nodes. Small chance to contain an item. Let's try to go this way. I don't think there's anything else we possibly get. Okay. Well, I think we get more gold by doing this than going to grab that. 136 gold. Nice. Like the art style of this game, are there any similarities, similarities with the wind and wilting blossom? Um... Are there any similarities? Uh, it's a roguelike. Uh, there's lots of different characters and synergies. Yeah, there's there's some similarity here. The combat feels quite different than Wind and Wilting Blossom to me, though. This feels closer to Monster Train combat than it does to Wind and Wilting Blossom to me, anyway. Attack, guard, attack. Okay. Fly slow, I don't want that. Holy 51 damage, Batman. Okay. Eight vulnerable to just do the 12 damage. Let's. Oh, I can't lure you. Okay. Wow, you're just one shotting everybody. Jeez. Okay. Alright, let's see. He has. Let's see if this works. Field awareness. He should gain 13 guard. Ally in the row attacks. It doesn't work on him, but he's in the row. Oh, he has to be in the middle, apparently. I need him to always be in the middle. Or else it just doesn't work. So having such a hard time making these things all work. Okay, well he did get he did get the guard there. So that worked. Okay. Do I have any damage cards? The course of confusion. But he's not attacking. I have nothing that actually attacks here. So let's just gain channel on you. Uh, that. Has that movement element to it? Positional synergies? Yeah. Hey, thanks for 777 bits. Need you appreciate that. I don't want to use up your other stuff, do I? I don't think so. You're just defending. I want him to get the kill so we can get grab some, gain some, whatever it's called. Okay. And then him. Okay, see if we can finish him with that. 29 damage. That's plenty. Kiss my blades. Good night, he says. What is this? Okay. Spell attack damage. 1 HP on a minion kill. Mana charge. Don't care about that. Another attack of opportunity. But this does give one strength. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue trying to build around that. They're just all gonna be randomly attacking. Uh, his helm is the one that's giving field awareness. So if I give... No, he doesn't have the strength for it. Okay, I could give him this one. Give this guy this one. Um, I 
Intelligence card draw and fire. Just I think I'm gonna keep that. I have so many random things here. Oh, we can use this now. Okay, so now this will do. I can do that and that. Hey, plus one range attack damage, plus two HP on a minion kill. Tash attacks apply seven shock. How do I actually attack, attack any attacks? It doesn't seem like. I feel like this is missing. This thing is missing something. This gives caustic arrow. Which prime shots will apply poison. Um, gain channel. Intelligence skills. Let's do this so that he can channel himself, maybe. Okay. I do not want him to have that parry on his in his deck. Okay, so now this guy. Are there any cards I want to get rid of? I don't think so. Caustic Arrow has to be drawn at the same time as Far Shot for it to do anything. This guy has two extra cards now because he now has the Field Awareness. I feel like I only want to have one of these guys. Remove that guy. Now I want to edit and remove a deflect. Actually, would I rather have a field awareness over a deflect? I think I actually would. I can get rid of a deflect there. Okay. How am I doing? I'm doing well. Serpentoid, another deck building game? Yeah. I've been hearing good things, and there weren't any other games I was dying to play, and I kind of wasn't enjoying V Rising anymore. So, although I have been talking to another dev who would like me to try out their game. So, that's going to be happening in, I think, a week from yesterday. I'll let you all know soon about this other game that uh, some folks. Uh, to contact me about trying out. Okay, so I'm going to shift. I'm going to sidestep. I'm going to quick trap. Quick trap. Have you guys both get vulnerable. So a bunch of vulnerable on them. Is her AoE up? Yes, so her AoE kills both of those guys exactly. He's applying shock. What does shock do? Trigger store damage on self and all shocked enemies. Is it the game you know about or a different one? It's actually a different one. The one that you know about, um, they never actually got back to me. So. Okay, so I actually need to, um, here, here. And that double kills those guys. D -d 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 double kill! <laughs> okay. So this should kill him, yes. Very good. Let's do that. Oh, it killed them both. That was more damage than I expected. Oh, well, it's fine. <laughs> um, oh, there's more waves, though. So since there's more waves... Let me do this and give channel to you. And what do I want to be on the top of my deck? Probably this. And if I if I do this now, I'll draw it actually. So let's just give you channel. Okay. 
Another another Dever, same one you talked to about a few weeks ago that never got back to you. Uh, it's another another. If that's clear enough. Damn, I drew the caustic arrow, but not the actual bow shot. So let's go ahead and do this and see if we draw that. Remove from my hand. Did I draw the arrow? Doesn't look like I drew the arrow, so if I didn't draw the arrow, I need not. I need not this. Okay. He is cleaving us both. He is doing six damage. They are all... Okay, he's doing a trap. That's fine. So... Okay. So attack of opportunities will now trigger if I do actual attacks with either of these people. Two of them. Okay. That didn't do what I thought it would. If I do this attack, you just die, actually. So if I attack this, you attack. Opportunity attack. Damn it, why isn't it working? Does it only attack the same person you attack, I guess? It must be that. I feel like these attack of opportunities suck because we we build up a bunch of vulnerable and then one-shot everybody. So I can make you kill yourself, or I could just go ahead and kill you. Go ahead and kill you, I guess. You've been rewatching my Watch Train series at work, and you kind of miss it. If there were another DLC, would I play it? In a heartbeat, I would. Love, love, love. Uh, Monster Train. I even played it some off-stream. Do I care? Do I care about this? Critical Garden channel. You're max on channel. Channel does nothing for you. And critical, I think, fades? Effect ends on turn end. So that actually would just be a waste of purple stuff. So A single dude. Okay. Uh, hey, I have my caustic arrow. Cool. So let's do this. Let's put Vulnerable on you. And bam, he now has Poison. Uh, he just got Guard, so that triggered. Okay, that's good. And you're dead from Poison. Cool. I would still like to give you the kill if possible. Okay. Alright, what do we got? Oh, that's a worse crossbow. A strength amulet's not bad. Four spell attack damage staff. Is that better than her one spell attack and plus one rank two random attack skill in hand on battle start? Oh, I'm not sure if that's better or not. Um, I don't know what these little symbols right here mean. Maybe that has to do with the stat requirement for it. Whoops, that is not what I meant to... I just totally misclicked. Well, all right. Okay. What, this one recommended level... Nine. I am pretty low on health here. Um, I do have a potion. Just to play it safe. Um, use outside of battle, restore two HP. Seven HP, one AP. Um... 
I'm gonna use that now. Give her two HP back. I don't want to go all the way back to the town before we do this. I have a feeling we might die here, though. I hope we don't. I mean, I always hope we don't die. The general rule of living, try not to die. Uh, what is this? Shrines. Shrines modify other nodes in the region. For every beneficial effect, a negative effect will place, be placed on another node, signifying added risk and reward. Make use of shrines to gain access to powerful rewards. If you find an empty slot as above, you can add additional effects by making use of strange incense. All right, I have some of that in my inventory. Conversely, you can also remove all added effects, turning shrines to original effects. This requires you to spend a fate. Area contains hunter's caches. You will be aided by spirit bear germination cells. Oh my gosh. Aided by spirit hawk. Area contains a minion horde. So everyone I spend adds one good, add one bad. Two strong minions. Area drops a rune. All right, let's not go any further than that. Achievement unlocked, call to power. I could have maxed it out, but I was a little afraid there. Two strong minions. I think that only adds that to one area, if I remember correctly. So I think this is going to modify a bunch of stuff. Okay. Level 5. Level 5. So let's go through here and head to town, because I need to heal. How's the game going? What's up, silly device? Going well. Having a good time playing a new game that's really, really complex. But I'm enjoying it. This is definitely more complicated than, like, Monster Train or some other deck builders we've played. That is a lot of enemies. What is that green symbol? Germination. The cell will spawn a cactus monster after one turn. Okay. Okay, caustic arrow, but I don't have the other thing. Did I draw my bow? I did not. So I can get rid of this. I wonder if I can cast this one turn and then he'll keep that buff till the next turn, I wonder. Uh, so what are you doing? You are... Increases a in initiative on that guy. That guy is gaining guard. That guy's attacking. So those two guys are attacking. Do that. Okay. All allies gain critical. Critical. What does that do? Next you'll hit this. Okay. Um, eight critical means... If she gains eight critical, this does seven plus eight damage to everybody, I think. Let me see if that works. Holy crap. <laughs> She's going to kill almost everybody herself. That is actually insane. Girls. Frickin' OP. This is frickin' OP. Look at that. And it even triggered the attack of opportunity. Jeez. Get frickin' blasted, man. Just get nuked. Bard OP confirmed. <laughs> What's good about this game so far? Uh, this is the first run. Um, oh, we have multiple things here. Uh, do I give stuff that will go away? I can give you channel. I guess I'll do that. What's good about this game is it seems like there will be some replayability. 
I don't know how uh, much variety the events will have, but um, I mean, I can't do anything because I kill every kill because we killed everybody. But the build diversity looks like it's going to be really good. Wow, he just walked right in on the trap. Perfect. Reality warp. Okay. Far shot, but no arrow. What are you doing? You're doing 10 damage cleave, summoning a zombie, damage and feeble. Looks like he won't be hit by that. Kill you. Wow, that's a lot of damage. You're just dead from... Does she have her AoE again? I might be able to draw it. I'm playing campaign though. The adventure mode is totally random the way you understand it. Okay. I don't have my AOE. Is there a chance that I draw it? I did not draw it. Okay. He only has to do one thing of damage in this. Well, three damage and this guy dies. She just blasts everybody. Um, now that we on the top of our thing next, our, our next row. Okay, so I need him to move forward to actually be able to. Well, let's see where there, where he goes from here. Okay, he randomly went into the trap one. Get wrecked. Uh, but the negatives would be what's bad is it's really complicated, which I would say is a good and a bad thing because it means there's lots of different ways you can play it, but it means the cost of entry or, or learning the game is a steep learning curve. Wow, that's really good. Perry, don't care. Okay, Rift Jack. That looks like a really good piece of armor. She has no chest piece. Can she wear that? Yes, she can. Yeah, he can too. She is the one who gets the least amount of armor, but guard with strength and dex skills. She actually has literally zero strength or dex skills, so... He will get a lot of guard with his dex skills. Which is sidestep, and that's all, huh? This is the guy who now has the field awareness. So the guy who gets the most benefit is the guy who actually doesn't use that. Ten strength. Um, how much HP does she get? She gets one health. Hmm. Give it to him. He gets a little more value out of it. Not a ton of value, but some value. Yeah, because you're you're you build your deck by the class you choose. Like she's a bard that I've chosen to specialize as a sonneteer. You build you build your deck by items that add cards to your deck as well. You can modify those by putting runes in the items. There is a level up system where you uh gain stats and or um like card upgrades there's like so many interconnecting systems uh let's see trapper to uh 
Uh, where's the other thing? Sentry too. No, I don't want to do sentry. I think we just keep track tracker going. Trapper. Trapper too. So if I go this way, I get two stats, reduce minimum size deck. If I go this way, boost card. Mm. Remove a skill from your deck, gain two respec points. These are the three I want, so I think I'm going to go this way. Alright, then what stat do I want him to get? I think I want to stack his decks more. Is that is that what his deck is built around, his decks? More damage with decks, more vulnerable with decks. Int is not a bad stat for him either. I think he's primarily dex, though. Okay. There. It's a cool skill tree. Yeah, and then you, once you work your way through your skill tree, you get to choose where to build your skill, your next skill tree, based on the three different specializations in the tr class. It's like I'm leveling three different characters in an MMO all at the same time. It's pretty insane. All right, let's go here and then go home. We might have time for one or two more fights before. I have to end the stream early today, sadly. We'll definitely be playing this some more. I might play on Sunday. It depends on my scuba diving training if, I, if it goes all day or not. But we'll definitely be playing this some more. Because it's going to take me multiple streams just to figure the hell what I'm doing. That is a lot of units. What is this? How did I move there? Did I just use my... You can move points to move? Crap, I didn't know I could do that. Okay, did not mean to do that, actually. Uh, can I undo... I guess I can't undo, can I? Oh, there's a lot of things going on here. Uh, looks clean and legible considering the complexity. Well, there have definitely been times when I've been whining about how not um, clear some things are. Okay, nice. because that's blocking. What are these things here? Like, do I get items if I walk on there? I don't know. So I can make a guy attack himself. Who is attacking? You are attacking. You're guarding. You're attacking. You're guarding. You're... You're... Guarding. Okay, so I can make you attack yourself. Okay. I would like to shift back. Is that what I would like to do? I don't think anybody's attacking us, so I don't think I want to use up my last SP. This is not PoE where you need a diploma to understand the skill tree. Have I tried Vampire Survivors for or 20 minutes until dawn? Pretty simple games, but addicting AF. 
you bought random vampire survivors and you're playing it now. I haven't played it yet. I haven't played vampire survivors yet. Yeah, I would say there, there are just so many mechanics that the game is having a little bit of a hard time explaining all of them. Okay. Um, let's see here. If I can use my caustic arrow. I don't have any traps, so if I do lure, it's just going to be to do a lot of damage. So that will kill you. Who's attacking? You're attacking. You're, you're all attacking. Okay. Okay. Fourteen damage, eighteen. If I add an eight, vulnerable to you. You should die. Uh, you should die. Okay. Uh, Creeper World 4 does a pretty good job slowly introducing the player to new mechanics, but it does take a good amount of gameplay time. Why are we talking about Creeper World 4? Okay, um... 7... 7... Okay. She is in a bad spot. I'm gonna have to shift her back, most likely. So let me shift him up there. So I just got something. I don't know what I got. Picked up a chest that did something, I think. Okay. Okay. But I think if I shift back one, this guy will absorb the hits. Um, I have an attack of opportunity. If I do this... I see a bunch of chains all over the place. He has double attack of opportunity, so I think if I attack people with my two verses of evocation... I think... That will make him attack with me. So let me attack you. He attacked. Okay, that's good. Okay, so he finished that one off. Okay, so if I shift back here, he will attack him. He's taking 13 damage. Okay, he's going to take some damage, but he's got armor at least for it. Um, by Jack of All Trades. Damn, I needed to have Jack of All Trades earlier. I'll Jack of All Trades for next turn, I guess. Talking about the top of games, introduce the mechanics to players. Yeah, I guess so. It was kind of a out of the blue game to choose, but that's I'm glad to know. Oh my god, that's a lot of poison. Uh, did I have anything that would remove a debuff? I thought I did. Ow. That's a cactus guy who's got spikes this guy is going to attack you're going to attack does she have her aoe this time damn i'm not drawing her aoe attack man does bear ever attack maybe he did all right six hp 
poison. Jesus, man. Oh, crap. It won't let me get rid of shift. I don't want to discard that. Okay, okay, it's fine. 36 kills him. Kill that guy. We're taking a lot of damage. I was talking about how OP we are. Well, we're finally... losing the OP-ness. So I can kill this guy. Draws us a card. Okay, that guy won't move apparently. I need to kill both these guys with her. Uh, what are we doing here? This. Sure hope she has some attacks to do that with. He has no attacks. Okay. But I can try to draw attacks, or... I can go Jack of All Trades, Bark Inspiration, that'll give me nine guard. I'll give everybody nine guard. Jeez, applying so much poison. Oh, thank God, we drew our AoE. Okay, is that enough to kill them? One of them, but not the other. But if I give herself critical, she'll kill everybody. Thank God. Okay. Wow, what a difficult fight. Saved by the Bard. Remember old school way games to teach you in the campaign like Red Alert? Each mission would introduce a new element of the game, bit somewhat focused around it. But old school games also had a 100-page manual with pictures to explain everything, yeah. Oh, that was a tough one. Okay, go home. Go home, you're drunk. <laughs> Whoever read those manuals? Yeah, right? Uh, well, when I was a kid, and we would get a new video game at the store, I would open it in the car ride on the way home and then look at the manual and think, oh, look at all the cool stuff I could do. So I would read it as long as I could in the car ride home. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Heal my people, because, whew, I feel like I'm playing with a really squishy team, and that's starting to show. Okay, so. I can get another talent. I can go to do that. Sabotage 2. I think I want to go this way. Okay. Who is this guy? Who am I upgrading? This guy. Uh, so, what do I want to do here? Doesn't have bleed stacks. More SP is something. Channel charge. Obtain an extra card. Is there anything in decks I want? Use your default move to move one cell at no cost. Ah! I just found that default move. Now I know how that works. I think I just like the max card draw, honestly. I think I like max card draw. Is that, is that going to be good for him, max card draw? I feel like max draw, card draw is always good. Yeah. Or while the game is installed, which used to take forever, even though there were just a couple of hundred megabytes big. Yeah. Yes. All right. And a most interesting outcome. The shrines seem to interpret your intent and respond in kind. Can't speak as to a reason for the creation of these shrines. I would surmise the power of these shrines is something we can use to our advantage. The captain should be ready to begin the counteroffensive. You miss having physical manuals that came with video games because you did the same thing. Yeah. I feel like I have some stuff I want to sell. Magic missile. 
I feel like actually one thing I want to do is... I think I want to get rid of some of her non-damaging cards. Uh, how could I do that? If I got her the staff that had magic missile... I could put Magic Missile in and remove a Deflect. I think I like the idea behind that. Where's that? Didn't I just see one with Magic Missile? Uh, do I have that in my equipment? Or maybe it's somebody else. Was it uh, Hurt? I thought I just saw something with Magic Missile. Am I blind? Man, so many attack of opportunity things. Uh, this doesn't keep changing, does it? Oh, there it is. It was gloves. Okay. Gloves with Magic Missile. 5% increased agility. Uh, our intelligence. Does she have gloves? She does not, so that is perfect. Let's buy gloves for her. Let's equip magic missile gloves. And I could mirror it. Because um, more damage every time magic missiles play this turn. Not sure if I want to mirror it. But I do want to remove her deflect. Oops. And I might even want to remove one of her bardic expertise. I feel like one of these is enough. Or maybe even remove... Yeah, Rhythm of Spirit is not that great. So let's mirror magic missile. I'm basically playing this bard like she's a freaking mage or something. To remove the unupgraded rhythm of spirit. There. Okay. 13 of 12. Don't want to remove any of his stuff. Not sure if I love this caustic arrow. I have to draw it at the same time as far shot. Which is not happening very often. What is this? Uh, remove. That's focus. Yeah, so he's getting agility when he plays it. I think I keep this, but I do. I buy a void shard and get rid of that. A void rune. Because the caustic arrow is not. It, it would be good if I was doing more bow attacks. But I'm not doing bow attacks, so. I think that's better. We're doing trappy stuff. Trippy trappy stuff. Okay. Let's do one more thing and we'll have to call it a day since I gotta go for scuba diving stuff. But uh, good news. Thanks to your efforts, we got the garrison up and running and solid supply line for soldiers. Next plan of action, deal with a breach at our border wall. When the invasion occurred, occurred a massive explosion, took it down. Skeleton force of reserve soldiers will hold the fort here. While the rest of us will be moving toward the wall. A skeleton force? I thought the skeletons were the bad guys, lol. Help out with the push where you can, then meet me at the marked point. Okay. Is there anything else I can do to increase my strength here? I could get her a shield. Do I have a shield for chance? What is this slot? Something I'd have nothing of, okay. I get him a chest piece and or gloves. I do have gloves here. <laughs> but only she can wear them and yeah, I don't like them. So let's go um, chest piece, force armor. Man, there's so much stuff in this game. It's really hard to know what I should be going for. <laughs> All these gem slots things. Uh, anything that just gives me health is probably good. Attached skills have minus one AP cost on first use. That seems really good. What skill can I put that on? 
Free magic missile first use. Seems really good. Ah, it's got to be a blue. Got to be a blue. Um... I think there's a way... Okay, I can make this free. Sidestep free first use, that's good. I think there might even be a way to change the color so that I could make Magic Missile blue. Or that... the one it slotted in blue. Okay, my brain is about to explode from all the choices I can make in this game. So let's go do another fight. That looks big, bad, and scary. So it looks like a good way to end the stream. So let's go this way, fight through a couple things. We have a couple other things we could do. But uh, let's go end with a bang for this stream. Gordian quest, which was it Ramsey's who keeps asking if I want to have a Gordita. What even is a Gordita? Is that like, is that like a Taco Bell thing or something? I can't even remember. I recognize the word, but don't know what it's from. All right, sidestep for free. Trap. Trap. Trap everywhere. Uh, who's... You're the only one attacking, so we go like that. Time to check out Gibbs. <laughs> no! So that one shots him. Get blasted. Yeah, this is a we make everybody really vulnerable and then one shot a build is what we're playing. <laughs> Golly. Of course, those were really low level guys, I think, so. Perception perception check. Uh yeah, it's definitely her with the intelligence. So I need to roll an 8 or higher. Nice. Oh, she just gained a level from that. And we got... Focus, okay. So level her up. So we got the Glamour 2. Let's do re reduce minimum deck size. And get rid of a Deflect. Remove. Get it out. Get it out of here. No defense. All offense all the time. And I think that now allows me to do... Yes, I can get rid of something if I want to. Uh, let's get rid of one of our Bardic Inspirations. There. Thin the deck. Feels good, man. Let's go one more of these, and then we'll do whatever this boss fight is. Uh, progress is suddenly halted by an attempted ambush. Uh, we have to do this. Everybody does a defense thing again. All right. Roll. We all failed last time. Okay, he succeeded. She failed. And... Jeez. Okay, well, one guy successful. Pretty long load screens, I will say, for this game. Well, we still go way before them, even with that failed thing, so it's fine. All right, um, let me see what I want to do here. Let's go shift and sidestep. Just to use my cards, quick trap. Uh, who is attacking? You're doing a trap, you're attacking, you're attacking. Nice. Okay. She have her AoE. She has her AoE, so that guy's already one off dead, actually.
Man, I'm drawing so many ways to do vulnerable. I'm not just... I'm not actually drawing any damage. Is one... These field awarenesses and stuff. I actually kind of just need to draw more frickin' damage. Frickin' damage. If I do this, I'll crit with my AoE ability and then can maybe finish him off. Let's go for that. Good. Oh! Ha! <laughs> Attack of opportunity finished him. Whoops. Oh man, she now doesn't have any SP for the next fight. That's actually not the best. Okay. Um, okay. I don't have anything to put in these empty slots. Except I can give her plus one strength by wearing a quiver for no reason. Okay, cool. Alright, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Main defense force at the breach in the wall. The enemy forces must be pushed back to be able to seal the breach. So into the breach, everybody. Into the breach. Join Captain Roderick, Officer Aaron, and a few soldiers on an overlook. Head of you stretches the outer walls of the city, a towering expanse of hewn stone. In one section, a massive breach lays exposed, allowing small groups of undead to stumble through every now and then. Blood chills as you spot the Rift Lord by the breach in the wall. The Lord pauses to give instructions to a rogue figure who by all accounts appears to be a new necromancer. Uh, shortly after, the Rift Lord leaves through the breach with the necromancer in charge. Soon the necromancer assumes a trance-like state, raising writhing bodies from the ground in nightmarish fashion. Alright, we need to kill him to kill the skeletons. Uh, I suggest a full pincer movement. The soldiers will circle the army. I'll be able to strike team on the front. There will be resistance. We should be able to overcome them. Distraction be better. Aaron leads the main force, pull away the undead. The strike team will face the necromancer alone, but it'll be a shorter fight to get there. Um, I like being with the full party because I have an AoE attack, so let's do this. Captain mulls over the plan, but agrees that your presence in the main battle will help be helpful in the turning the tide. Plan is set in motion. Alright, here we go. Maybe she shoots fiddles, or whatever those things are called. She could put those in a quiver. <laughs> Pulls out her Urhu. Or that's the Chinese um, violin looking thing. Which is kind of what that looks like, I think. I don't know what this exactly looks like. Sitar or something, I don't know. Okay, so he's with us. I feel like I could move everybody back one space to let him be in the front. What do we got? They all attacking? They are all attacking. Okay. They all have a bunch of armor. God, these guys are strong. Okay, he's getting a crap load of armor because of opportunity thing. That's good. Okay. He's gonna... He can attack from there at least, hopefully. Okay, that's good. Alright, we have a lot of a lot of stuff here. Um, Fly 19 vulnerable. That did not pull him. I swear that says pull. Ugh. Okay, that did attack of opportunity. Alright, well it's time for her to explode everybody else. We're taking a crap load of damage here. She's doing six, you're doing six. Alright, what do we got here? I can make somebody attack themselves. Huh, magic missile doesn't reach that far, eh? But he's safe. He's got 20 armor. I can make this guy attack himself. I need to do this to do that, though. And then that's the only thing I'll be able to do. Which means she's taken 6 damage. I think that's still my best bet.
So you will attack yourself. And then I can shift her back. Yeah, we'll shift her back. So he can absorb that attack. Thanks for punching yourself. Oh, he guarded. No, he did attack. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Okay. Hopefully we'll draw our AoE. Why would you move back? I want you to stay there. Okay, well, he went on a trap and died, so that's nice. There. Critical doesn't really do anything for us. Since we won't be able to use... Although, I think the critical will apply to if he triggers an attack of opportunity. So that actually probably will still be useful. I either do that or I lure this guy in... Uh, another trap thing. This guy dies to any damage. Does she have her AoE? Damn it. Can't draw her AOE. I just that's like the one attack I want every time is her whatever that's called. The thing that will trigger all the vulnerables. Okay, you're hitting nothing. You're defending. You're defending. You're attacking. You're defending. Okay, they're mostly all defending, so let's do this. Okay. Okay, a couple of call drops and having them swap places will actually do some really good damage. Okay. Let's swap those guys. Oh man, he's gonna do damage to them. Unless I can kill him with something. Uh, okay, I can have him attack himself again. Let's do that. Are you the only one attacking? Are you the only one attacking? Yeah. So we do this. Keep it, keep punching yourself. Keep punching yourself. I could jack of all trades, but I don't need to. Right. I think he... It looks like he's trying to attack them, but he should be attacking himself, I think. These are just a bunch of tanky frickin' skeletons, man. Okay, good. He punched himself. Go. Can we please finally draw our AoE to proc all these things? Scatter hit. Beautiful. So now I want to get vulnerable on everybody so they all die. Who's attacking that? Hit that, so I do kind of care about that. God, there's so much happening on this freaking screen right now. Do this, and then this. And 22 damage. 29. He's hitting nothing. He's hitting that. He's guarding. Okay, let's do that. Okay. 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 
Okay. So I got an attack. Kind of a waste because I didn't want to actually kill him because she probably would have, but that's fine. Okay. Um, man, it would have been nice if I drew my crit thing. 43, 15, 4, 4. Okay, she does have that activated. So let's, this will kill... Oh man, that triggered some attack of opportunities too. Perfect. So you're attacking, you're attacking, you're attacking. Who's doing the most? 6, 7 to 2 cells. 6, okay. If I move her here... He has attack of opportunity. Um, he will attack with her, I think. Gain inspiration. I forget what that does, but... That's okay. So we don't want the two cell thing. Okay, I'm gonna take some damage here. Ouch. Oh boy. Well, okay, let's see here. I can do three things. Next trap, do 10 damage. Okay, deal six, deal six, deal six, deal six. We're all dealing six, okay. Does she have her AoE again? She does, so that guy's dead, that guy's dead. Right? Yes, 19 vulnerable. So I can ignore those two. Okay. Oh, wow. Did he just heal her? You have a freaking heal? Alright, uh, let's see here. Okay, now he's dead from her AoE, so I just need to focus this guy. Which... That, I think, did something, maybe. Alright, time to blast everybody. Which is enough to kill everybody except that guy. He's gonna hit you for six, but you have ten armor, so we're finally safe for once. So I should build up stuff here. I could make you attack yourself. But actually getting Jack of All Trades to give her her buff would be nice as well. Oh crap, I just did that completely backwards. I need to do that first because that would have. Uh, giving her all the tones after drawing a card. Uh, I need to get used to this play style. Okay, so he's shooting you. You're attacking there. You're defending. You're attacking. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have she doesn't have AoE, but we have a lot of vulnerability built up.
He's gonna attack her. I'm gonna need to maybe swap places with him or something. Actually, if I do this. Take that six damage. Oh wait, is that a I hitting two people? No, I think it's hitting him. Oh, okay. Well he'll just blast that guy for me. Okay. We have lots of traps. Let's do this. Okay. I do not know how tripwire works. I cannot seem to understand how to how pull works. Oh, I think okay. It it works that when they step on it, that's when it pulls them forward. That's what I'm messing up. Okay. Okay. So you're hitting those two. She'll be able to kill him as long as she's got any yeah, she's got magic missiles. He's attacking that guy. Okay. Magic missile. Can make him attack himself. Yeah, you're actually... Well, you'll get bleeded. Does bleed... Increases the value of damage received. Caps at 25%. Heals will remove an equivalent value. I don't think this bypasses armor like poison does. So I think I can allow the bleed through. And make you attack yourself. So we take no damage. Let's find out. This might be the first time I've been hit by bleed, actually. Okay, I think Guard actually even protects you from bleed, which is perfect. Okay, she has her AoE. Yes, so that guy's dead. Um, so was that guy, so we just focused this guy. And how many rats? Jeez, I apparently chose... the most difficult way of doing this fight. Okay. All right, so let's just call trops this entire map. This her AOE is going to kill everybody. Yeah, they're all dead, so I should... That'll clear all our stuff, and I could jack of all trades it again if I want to do that. Now let's actually give you channel even though it doesn't do anything. Let's put this on the top of our deck. And kill them all. Pop, pop, pop. Okay. And I can clear my stuff because I'll be able to get it next turn. Actually, I can now if I draw it. That's why. Fifteen vulnerable. All right, what do we got? You're attacking him. You're defending. You're attacking. So I need to take care of these two guys. Okay. <laughs> He's like, why don't I get to be on the front row? Sorry, sir. Sorry. Um, okay, I don't have a way. To... Okay, that was my way to draw. There we go. The call trops lure. If I do that, kills one. You guys got a lot of vulnerable. She can probably kill if we do multiple magic missiles. Nope, oh, almost 
almost did it there. Okay. You're still attacking, right? Okay. Eh, I kill you either way. Okay, and there's the... Is that the Necromancer guy they've been talking about this entire time? I think it might be. <laughs> or maybe we have to do this and then fight the other guy. I don't know. I have a feeling doing it this way keeps this guy alive, but he would have died if we did it another way, so that's why I did it this way. Are you summoning? You are applying shock. She has her AoE, so that guy is dead. I'm gonna have you move there, so he'll be in range to hit that guy. Okay. That'll, that'll do it too. You have nowhere to run, sir. Nowhere to hide. And let's kill you with... this. Alright, GG! You know what? Well, GG, well, even GG cookie time, since I haven't done any GG cookie times today. I hope that's the whole fight. I actually don't know. GG cookie time. I think we just killed him mini boss or something hmm. to the wounded get some men to seal the breach <sighs> yes sir good work putting down that necromancer i'm gonna lie some scouts to hunt down the rift lord but first let's head back to the garrison and process all this all right um let's do our level ups and uh i only have one level up do some minimum deck size yes please D um. Yeah, dodge. No more milk time. Well, it is GG cookie milk time. It's a milk cookie, but these, this thing was so melty, all the cookies are sticking together. So I have a hard time actually eating a single cookie on that thing. Uh, all right. So now you, I can get rid of one card. What is the least useful? Um, probably one of the far shots, if I'm going to go all in on the traps. Although, to be honest, I need, I need some actual direct damage, so maybe... Maybe I get rid of one of the quick traps. One of the lures. Maybe the reinforce. This doesn't seem to do that much, honestly. Um, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to figure out this deck a little bit better. Well, let's go back to town to finish the story of today. And then I gotta get going because I gotta go pick up gear for tomorrow's uh, lesson stuff. But already, I've had it for months. And yes, I probably did eat through it pretty quickly. But I still have, I still have like five more of those things to get through. So I'm not, I am not through all that stuff. All right, we got some renown. Oh. Screw the breach, a certain cause for sale. Is a certain cause for celebration, but as we speak, the Rift Lord roams these lands. As long as he's alive, there's a good chance we're still under silent threat. It grows every day. Lead the defense rebuilding a silver creep to my remaining men. You're well traveled, and you have the best chance of hunting down the Rift Lord's trail. Traveling in the wilderness can be tough, so you're going to want supplies. I've given orders to Dana to stock you up. You'll find her at the end. All right. Dana's the name? Yes, I know. If you're heading into the wilderness, you'll need to ensure you have ample supplies. Hunger's no good if you get into a fight. For as much as you can carry. Anything beyond that is on your own dime. We got mouths to feed here too. Safe travels. Max supplies. Alright, what does Win the Enchantress oh. have to say? We've regained control, regained control of our waypoints. I've prepared a little something for you in case the situation calls for it. These are portal scrolls. This you'll be able to create a portal that connects you back to the garrison's waypoint. Save it for emergencies. Try to scrap more of these, but the materials are difficult to obtain and pricey. Alright. Cool. So it's like a we have a way to teleport back home now.
And uh, Wynn, good well. to see you. I've been piecing together information we have so far based off the counter at the library, the battle at the breach. The Rift Lord is intent on completing a complex Van Eye ritual that would bridge our existence with that of a spirit world or the realm of the dead. To achieve this, the ritual requires three things. Three things. Blood sacrifice souls and a location with certain topo topological features. I suspect the cultists that follow him are providing the sacrifices. The last two I can hazard a guess. Ley lines of energy. Okay. Old burial grounds. Okay. That would be a good place to start looking. Okay. So we now have a we now have a goal. We gotta go search and defeat the evil Rift Lord, my friends. Seems in comparison to some other deck builders, you don't get all that many new cards for your deck. Yeah. Either we're limited or the way you build is around putting runes in the more limited cards. So it seems like unlike Monster Train where there are a crap ton of cards. Unless I just haven't unlocked them, there are fewer cards that you can do more stuff with. So you could maybe personalize those cards or adjust them how you like. My friends, I am going to call it a day there. We will definitely play some more of this, either this Sunday or next Friday. Sometime in the near future, we will play some more. Uh, it's a cool game. A lot of mechanics going on. We'll definitely have to learn them all. And I hope you all enjoyed. Um, on Monday, we'll be back to FTL. And um, I will be going out of town, not next week, but the week after. So I'll let you all know about that and let you know about, I think, Friday, July, uh, Thursday, July 21st, which is, I think, next Thursday. I think that's when we'll be checking out a new game with, the, with some devs. And I'll give you all more information as that comes closer up. So I hope you had a good time. Always a blast hanging out with you wonderful folks. Thanks again for all the support. You all just hanging out. Bits, follow subs, gift in the games like this, like Ren did. All that awesome stuff you all do. Make me able to do this. So uh, I'm going to head out so I can get my uh, scuba gear for tomorrow's scuba training. And uh, I will see you all Sunday or Monday or sometime. So until next time, peace out. Happy gaming. You all have a great weekend. And I will see you next time. Later, my friends. Y'all rock.